Good evening. I am Paras, the member of Legal Vidya. Welcome to all on the class six of the contract drafting course. I would like to call Bhumi Agarwal, ma'am, to take over the class. Please, ma'am. Hi. Good evening, class. So today we will be discussing about the agreements which you guys have drafted. I guess four of you have joined the class. Five. So among five, only Bhavya and Shreya have drafted the agreement. What about others? Have you guys tried or not? Others, please. Okay, Bhavya, can you please share your screen? Or you can share the agreement with me on WhatsApp and I'll share my screen. Okay, I'm out of station, so I wasn't able. Mom, I live. It's fine if you have not been able to complete the agreement. At least you have tried, so you can share. I'll discuss whatever until wherever you have tried. Hope I have not received your message till now. You can share your screen and we can discuss over that only. Shreya, by the time you can start, let Bhavya share it on WhatsApp. You can share your screen and start. Ma'am, I have just sent my agreement to your WhatsApp number. Okay, let me. So I'm sharing my screen. Just let me know whose agreement is this. Can you please let me know? Is this Bhavya's draft or Shreya's? Shreya's. Is this your draft? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. The consultancy agreement. Agreement is executed on so and so date. Execute. This is known as execution date, not executory date. And it is always advisable to have this in bold. I'll do one thing. I'll make the changes in track mode. At so and so place, by in between, Mr. A, Mrs. Pragya Pandey, daughter of this, with this having residential address at this. Her in afternoon as again capital 
कंसल्टेंट बोर्ड ऑप्स सॉरी कंसल्टेंट एंड दिस विद आधार दिस हैविंग परमानेंट होम टी ओके गुड गुड स्टार्ट द कंसल्टेंट एंड द क्लाइंट शाल योर Shall be referred to as party individually and parties collectively. Okay, engagement and service engagement. The client hereby engages the consultant. Please make sure that whatever you draft, whatever legal agreement or uh, legal document you are drafting, is justified. Control J, justified. it looks more clean and better the client hereby engages the consultant and consultant hereby accepts the engagement to provide the consultancy services okay as set forth in exhibit a scope of work good of this agreement the consultant shall perform the services with due care skill and diligence in accordance with the industry standard standard of services the consultant shall devote such time time attention and resources as are necessary to perform these services in a timely and professional manner the consultant shall determine the method details and means of performing the services subject to the requirements and specifications independent contractor the consultant is independent and is not an employee agent partner or joint venture of the client the consultant shall not have the authority to bind the client to any contractual or other obligations without the prior consent of the client okay good the client acknowledges and agrees that the consultant shall have the right to provide the services to other clients including those that may be direct competition with the client the consultant is not restricted from engaging in any other business activities or entering into the agreements with other parties during the term of the agreement provided that such activities do not interfere with the performance of it okay good shall begin on so and so and continue till unless terminated earlier per this agreement the term may be extended through mutual written of both the parties agreement shall begin and continue better to write uh, and shall continue for a period of so and so months or years whatever and this will be defined as the term okay from the effective date the agreement shall begin or shall come into the effect from the effective date which is so and so unless terminated earlier for this agreement term the term may be extended through mutual written consent of both the parties then what will be the effect of termination upon the termination of this agreement for any reason the consultant shall cease performing any services as of the termination date the client shall pay the consultant for all the services rendered and reimbursable expenses incurred the consultant shall return the client all materials and information including confidential belonging to the client that are in consultants okay this is good but this should contain 
a lot more information. The consultant, Ma what all I should include more? Consultants sh shall cease performing any services. But what about the services which are remaining? Which are remaining? Suppose I told you yesterday also that suppose he is terminating the agreement on twenty eighth of May. Then what about the May's? duties which he was obligated to complete what about the gst compliances which he was obligated to complete on 30th of may so here it will come as the consultant shall be liable to complete all the duties which are due to be performed on the date of expiry of the term or the termination of the agreement okay this makes it clear getting it yes ma'am Similarly, with the client, the client shall pay the consultant for all the services rendered and reimbursable expenses incurred up to the termination date. However, the client reserves the right to withhold the payment or fees, whatever the term you have used, of the consultant for the month or for the time till such services which were due to be performed by the date of termination are not completely or not fulfilled to the satisfaction of the client. However, the client reserves the right to withhold the payment of the consultant for the time till such services which were due to be performed by the consultant on or before the date of termination are fulfilled to the satisfaction of the client. Okay, better? Then comes the consultant shall return to the client all materials and information, including but not limited to confidential information belonging to the client that are in consultant's possession or control. Okay, fine. Then comes retainership fee and expenses, consultancy fee. The client agrees to pay the consultant a consultancy fee as outlined in Exhibit B, fee schedule of this agreement. The fee may be based on an hourly rate, a fixed fee or the project. So now here you are entering into an agreement. So you have to make this clear. What will be the fee structure? Will it be an hourly fee? Will it be lump sum fee or a fixed fee? Have you included Exhibit B? No, ma'am. Actually, I have written only Exhibit A and I, I have also missed one clause because I was not getting what to write inside that. It's okay. It's okay. But you have well tried. It's a good, good try. Let's say. Uh, so, you, it's better to write this... Uh, the client hereby agrees to pay a lump sum fee or say the monthly fee of rupees 
फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पर मंथ टू दी कंसल्टेंट एज इट्स रिटेनर पी विच कैन फाइंड एस रिटेनर पी एज इट्स पी this fee this retainer fee shall be inclusive of all the taxes and levies it shall be paid on or before so and so day of each calendar month any delays any delay in the payment shall make the client liable to pay an additional some of rupees so and so or so and so percent for each delay day or whatever the this can be subjective okay then payment terms invoices will be issued monthly by weekly so while you are drafting an agreement this should be specific invoices will be issued monthly and are payable within 30 days 30 <laughs> it should be maximum 7 to 8 days or 10 days or 15 days usually we have a time gap of 7 days if you see in practice it is 7 days within 7 days one second of the invoice date late payments will incur an interest okay so i have already included this late payment i am removing this part okay late payments will incur an interest at the rate of this per month or highest rate permitted by law whichever is lower whichever or the highest rate permitted by law whichever is okay the consultant is responsible for all the taxes applicable to the fee under this agreement the client shall not withhold any taxes for consultancy except as required okay expenses reimbursement of expenses the client agrees to reimburse the consultant of the reasonable and necessary expenses incurred in the performance of services provided that such expenses have not been pre approved okay this needs a bit of rephrasing just a minute the client agrees to reimburse the consultant for all the reasonable and necessary expenses incurred in the performance of the services provided that such expenses are duly informed duly intimated intimated and are pre approved by the client in writing okay documentation the client shall provide receipts or other documentation for all the reimbursable expenses original of the receipts the client agrees to reimburse such expenses within so and so date of fruits okay duties of consultant performance of services the consultant shall perform the services described in exhibit with due care skill and diligence okay compliance of laws reporting confidentiality 
the consultant shall be in the confidentiality of all proprietary and confidential information of the client specified in section insert relevant section duties of the client access to information the client shall provide consultant with all the necessary information resources and support required for the performance resources no not resources uh, all the necessary information documents data and support cooperation uh, cooperate with the consultant in all the matters relating to the service and shall respond promptly to all the requests for decision or other necessary okay good the client shall pay the consultant the fees and reimburse okay but you need not include this clause we have already discussed about this uh, in clause 4 confidentiality again this clause is repetitive the client shall maintain the confidentiality. Okay. Now here you should also include the definition of confidential information. That what all data and what all things are covered under the term confidential information. Okay. And the document which was sent in the group, it said that confidentiality clause is also important in this one. I have included uh, confidentiality in duties of client and both the people. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I'm writing like this, mm -hmm. uh, is it okay or I need to write a different clause saying that it is one? You can, uh, that's the reason I'm saying that if you are writing like this, then it's important to elaborate and define what all information will come under the confidential information. Okay. Okay. So first you will define, you will include that all the documents, all the uh, data, financial, personal and so and so provided by the client during the term of this agreement to the consultant, whether in a form of digital manner or in a form of physical hard copies shall be included under the definition of confidential information this i mean by defining this confidential information okay so it has to be a comprehensive definition that all these things will come under the confidential information and then you can say that the client shall maintain the confidentiality no client my client will maintain the confidentiality the consultant shall maintain the confidentiality of all the propriety and confidential information of the client and yes client will maintain the confidentiality about the resources and about the uh, process and the way consultant is doing its services okay the client shall also be responsible to maintain the confidentiality of the terms of this agreement first this and the process resources methodology being used by the consultant during the performance of its services as per the terms of the agreement okay better ownership of material all materials reports documents and other deliverables developed by the consultant in the course of performing shall be the sole property of the client the consultant hereby assigns all the right title and such okay pre-existing materials any pre-existing materials or intellectual property of the consultant used in the performance shall remain the property the consultant grants the client a non-exclusive royalty free license to use such pre-existing material 
solely for the purpose of okay so this will not be covered in this gst consultancy but yes this can be a clause in other agreements of consultancy indemnification of the consultant uh, the consultant shall indemnify defend hold harmless the clients as officers and so and so arising any breach by the consultant of this agreement any negligence willful misconduct on so and so third party claims okay the client shall indemnify defend whom this 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 any breach of the client any negligence the third party clients no this this is not correct this cannot be here any third party claims why will our client indemnify the consultant that he will protect you or he will indemnify you regarding any of the third party claims because consultant is liable to perform its duty well and if there is any third party claim then client is not responsible for the same client is only responsible if he has due to negligence advertently or inadvertently provided any misinformation or misrepresented the information to the consultant okay yes ma'am consultant's representations and warranties represents that has full right and power authority to enter and perform services performed in a professional will be performed is duly qualified and necessary licenses okay good clients reps and warranties the client reps and warrants that client shall have full right and know to enter and client will provide the accurate and complete information okay okay good non disclosure negotiations ma'am this clause only i was not getting what through it's okay it's okay it's okay uh overview and it outlines the services business analysis project management okay good good what was your recital let me check where is the recital clause recital is missing that's the reason this is the most important thing until and unless you tell a person that what is the agreement about or what are you entering into what is the understanding between the parties before entering into the agreement how can you tell that what is right and what is wrong under the agreement right i was of the view that you have drafted this agreement for the gst compliance only the proposition which i took but now your annexure one says that you are drafting this agreement for business purpose for the project management in fact so you are hiring a manager for your project to be completed in an effective so you are hiring uh, someone who is expert in project management okay so you should include the recital clause accordingly that suppose mr mrs pragya so and so this 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 having her expertise in project management and uh, and so and so years of experience has approached the client to serve him for the development and enhancement of his project so and so okay then the client 
who is developing or you can say or who is working who is starting so and so company requires an expert to perform the services of project management the client has gone through the profile of the consultant and hereby agrees to engage her for the services as defined under annexer so and so and then the parties hereby agree to abide by the terms okay yes ma'am that recital is very important you should never miss a recital otherwise you will never get to the person reading the agreement will never get to know that what is the agreement all about i hope i am not read your business cooperation market okay project management overseeing planning yes conduct research good so we will be discussing about one such agreement today project management and uh, the impact the management agreement okay i'll share this with you over the whatsapp only and let's go on to the next next agreement Bhavya's agreement. Bhavya. Okay. What is this vakeelsearch.com? Have you copy pasted this agreement from somewhere? Yes. Whose agreement is this, Bhavya? Give me a second. Whose agreement is this? Okay, one second. It's not mine, ma'am. Whose agreement is this? Vakil search legal is now simple. <laughs> I guess Paris has marked this as Bhavya's agreement. Paris, can you please tell me who has shared this agreement? Um, just give me a second. Okay, let's go through it by the time. Let me review the structures. The, this consultant agreement is your bio. Okay. This is a copy pasted agreement. And so I'll not go through it. This is not the one drafted by yourself. What is this? What is this? No, no, no.
Okay. Yes, this was Bhavya's agreement only. Bhavya, can you sh see my screen? It's uh, ma'am, I've shared my document to you on WhatsApp. Please check that. Okay, give me a second. Yes, can you see my screen? Now, is this your agreement? Bhavya? Bhavya, I have opened the uh, document which you have shared with me on WhatsApp. Please confirm if this is your agreement. Okay. Send the wrong file. Okay. Just close the window. Uh, Ma'am, sorry to interrupt you. I just want to know that uh, whether we are going to take next topic or we are going to do this, uh, reviewing these agreements only today. I am discussing one more agreement of Bhavya's. And uh, thereafter, I'll just review the agreements which you have shared with me and will share it in the track mode with the students. And then we can take 15 minutes for going through the next topic okay okay yes ma'am i have shared the amina agreement with you yes i'll see that i'll see that and uh, we'll make the changes in track mode and we'll share it with you by tomorrow okay because it's not possible for me to take up all the agreements in just one class. Or we can take it up in the next class. Okay, ma'am. No so, Bhavya, this is your agreement, okay? I hope this is the right one. This consultancy agreement is entered. Okay. Okay. Consultant. Fine client and consulted here collectively as parties and individually whereas the client desires to engage the consultant to provide the pilot's training to its employee and as an employee welfare scheme and the consultant agree to provide the services under the terms in okay this needs to be in more detail
what is the consultant looking for or what all expertise do the consultant have okay you need to include something about consultant also and then say that uh, the consultant hereby agrees to provide the services that the consultant agrees to provide the services which shall be defined define where are you defining the services annexure so and so under the terms and conditions so okay engagement and services the client hereby engages the consultant to provide this and the consultant hereby accepts such engagement okay the consultant shall render in professional and diligent manner terms this agreement shall commence on the effect and shall continue in force for a period of so and so unless terminated earlier in accordance with the term good this is good either party may terminate this agreement by giving a written notice to the other party at least 30 days in advance retainer fee and expenses in consideration of the services of the consultant the client shall pay the consultant a retainer fee of rupees itna per month payable on or before okay good the client shall reimburse the consultant for all the pre approved expenses incurred by the consultant in connection with the performance of services upon submission of an invoice or appropriate receipts okay good duty is the consultant shall perform the services with utmost professionalism and diligence okay the consultant shall immediately inform the client of all the and may affect the performance okay good you can include few more points here that the consultant the consultant will abide by the law and so and so the consultant shall abide by the law in force and shall ensure that there is no violation of any of the laws rules and regulations governing these services being provided by the consultant okay duties of the client the client shall provide the consultant with necessary information of the employees as required shall address the issues okay confidentiality must disclose the consultant must keep all the information received from the confidential and must not disclose or share the information to any third party without the now again here the definition of confidentiality is missing so you will define what all information will be shared by the client to the consultant and that will be defined as confidential information suppose the personal details financial details digital records and so and so okay non disclosure negotiation neither party shall disclose to any third party okay good indemnification liabilities faced due to the consultant okay the client hereby indemnify claim damages liabilities losses faced due to the client's breach of this agreement okay representations and warranties okay short it needs to be more elaborate the consultant hereby represents and warrants that he has all the expertise license 
staff and resources required in order to fulfill the services and so and so as you can include such of two dispute are arbitration according to this the venue bangalore and the language shall be english okay good severability in the witness okay now where is the annexure clause where have you defined the services what all services and the scope of work services is missing scope of work is missing termination clause is missing that is also very important clause and what will be the effect of termination all these clauses are missing also in the payment clause is the payment clause we have not included the mode to which mode will it be paid and what will happen in case there is delay in payment and what if there is deficiency in services okay Ma'am, you are not audible. Um, you are not audible.
ma'am is rejoining in 2 minutes kindly wait Yes, Bhavya, have you followed what all was missing in your agreement? So sorry, I lost my connection. There was a power cut at my place. Bhavya, have you followed? Okay, I'll be sharing this agreement. Can we add force measure? It's force measure. M A Z J E U R. Yes, you can add force measure. Absolutely. Force measure arbitration. Uh, you're talking about two different clauses, I guess. One is force measure and the other is arbitration, right? Yes, yes, definitely you can have a force measure clause also. Okay, so I'll be moving on to the next agreement. Let's go through it quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ma'am, I have one question that uh, in so uh, so many times the business owner, they don't want to, to make a so large agreement with the consultancy. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they, they, they back off. Uh, they don't want to go some uh, so many legal terminology, you know. So mm -hmm. in that in that case in that scenario, which clauses we can able to eliminate easily without harming our agreement? So I told you the most important clauses in consultancy will be first you will definitely tell them the recital that what is the background and what have you initially agreed? Why are you entering into this agreement? Then there should be scope of work. Scope of work is important. Besides that. You always have a term agreement, a term clause that uh, this agreement is for so and so date. Then termination, of course, termination is important. You cannot skip the clause of termination. Then besides that, duties and responsibilities, that is also very important. Besides that, you will have the effect of termination, the payment clause. And then if in case the dispute arises, how are you guys going to settle that? Will you be taking the arbitration method or will you be going under the negotiation method or will you be going under mediation or will you be directly going to the litigation? OK, so these are some of the very important clauses you cannot skip. Apart from that, everything is subjective, depends upon the party to party, what all they want to include and what all they want to skip. But these are few very important clauses which you cannot skip. Also, the confidentiality clause that is also very important. You can have it short and crisp, but you need to include the confidentiality clause in such consultancy agreement where you are sharing your confidential data with the other party, with the consultant. Okay. Any other doubt? No, ma'am. Thanks. Okay. Now, similar to what we were dealing with is the other agreement, which is the asset management agreement. What we are doing here, there is a hotel who is hiring a manager to manage all its assets. Okay. This is an example, other example of a consultant agreement or a consultancy agreement which is usually uh, seen in the hospital hospitality business okay let's go through it quickly this hotel asset management services agreement agreement is entered on so and so date effective date at so and so place by and between party a 
Atharva Asset Solution, who is the manager here in a company incorporated under so and so laws of India, having its registered office at so and so place. And the other is the owner hotel name referred to as the owner. Now recitals. The owner through separate subsidiaries, the owners hold the ownership interest in certain hotels, more particularly set forth in Exhibit A, attached here to collectively the hotels and individually as the hotel. So basically, they, uh, if you talk about any of the hotel, like Taj, Taj has different outlets at different places. Okay. So suppose Taj is hiring a manager to manage all its assets. So this particular clause talks about all the hotels. Okay. It includes the all, all the hotels under the label of Taj. Manager is willing to provide certain asset management services on terms and conditions set forth on Exhibit B. Owner hereby retains the manager to perform the services. Owner desires to avail itself of the experience, resources of information, advice, assistant, and certain facilities available to the manager and to have the manager undertake the duties and responsibilities here and after. This is the recital clause. Let's go on to the scope of services, which is in annexure, exhibit B services. So exhibit A talks about the list of hotels. What will be the name of hotel? What will be the city of hotel? So, sorry. State keys manager and who is the manager of that hotel and who is the owner of that hotel? All the list of hotel, okay, which will be covered under this agreement. And then exhibit talk uh, exhibit B talks about the services. What all will be the services? that will be performed by the manager. He will perform the services such as monitoring financial performance of these hotels, managing the capital expenditure oversight, then revenue management, then monthly operational reviews, investment and management advisory, contract management, investment community monitoring, loan compliance and operator franchise affiliations oversight of operation and managing the investment managing the capital annual budget and plan review strategic plan review and so okay all these are the duties that the manager will perform in order to review the hotel's performance and to increase the hotel's performance Now comes the agreement. I have I have very basic and stupid question, I think. But uh, why we need this agreement? I think uh, uh, if uh, Taj is hiring someone as a manager, they, he will go with the employment contract, right? Or uh, so this uh, is not a manager who is managing the hotel, hotel manager. This is not a hotel manager. Okay. He then. is basically a consultant, an expert who will manage all the things of the hotels of the of all the hotels which are in different cities which are in different states in order to increase the financial or say the overall portfolio of taj okay. he will look after all the finances all the operations all the contracts which taj will enter in the coming years in order to maintain its reputation, in order to see that Taj makes profit. Getting my point, he is not a manager of the hotel. Of course, that manager will enter into an employment agreement. Okay. Here we have given the term of the manager, but basically he is the consultant. He is an expert. Okay. Yes. So this is the terminology which can be used depending upon what all things you will be covering in the agreement. Services. Manager agrees to provide the services for term. So if you will see the services, let me go through the services once again. So that you guys have a clear picture of what exactly are we entering into. 
monitoring financial performance of the hotel conduct regular reviews to access the hotel's financial performance against the budgetary projections and previous year's performance supervise the budget approval process to ensure alignment with the strategic objectives and financial targets monitor forecasting balance sheets and on the books businesses to identify trends and potential areas of improvement provide transparent reporting of the owner including detailed financial analysis and recommendations for optimizing performance then comes capital expenditure oversight establish clear rules and procedures for capital expenditure projects including obtaining multiple bids and conducting thorough roi analysis ensure transparency and accountability in the capital expenditure process to maintain the owner's confidence monitor budgeting for capital expenditures and long term planning to ensure the alignment with hotel strategic objectives guarantee full transparency for the owner throughout the capital expenditure process including regular updates and reporting on project status then comes revenue management unlock access to multi dimensional internal and benchmark data to develop and implement effective revenue management strategies so i hope now it's clear that what all is the scope of work and what all duties will the manager perform under this agreement he is not a manager of the hotel which the term is usually hold, uh, used for the manager he is basically an expert who will conduct a thorough research and will provide the definite plans and strategy for the overall benefit of the hotel okay now it's clear adjust some yeah it's clear clear yes so this includes services manager agrees to provide the services of the term in accordance with the terms and conditions as agreed manager will devote such resources as required in order to perform the services and will have the control by means of method so this depends upon what all services will be performed then term we have already discussed in the earlier agreements what is the term clause it's one and the same thing then compensation and reimbursement of expenses again this will come as asset management fees and then the expenses what all uh, will be the expenses and incentives then termination clause termination clause over here is without cause with cause and what is the cause without cause this agreement may be terminated by the manager without cause if the capital lodging abandons the ipo before it becomes effective in such a scenario the manager reserves the right to terminate the agreement immediately without being obligated to provide any such justification so once you will uh, get into the company's law then you will understand what exactly an ipo means this is a technical term but this is the reason that uh, what will be the scenario in which the manager will ha have the right to terminate the agreement without any cause then with cause when the manager will terminate the agreement with cause he will serve a notice of 15 days and then he will terminate the agreement then what is the cause cause shall be defined as what all will be the causes of agreement uh, termination material breach of the agreement failure to make the timely payment of the agreement uh, or timely payment of to the uh, manager by the client then gross negligence willful misconduct fraud or violation of law then comes the confidential information what all will be covered under the uh, confidential information and who is obligated to maintain the confidential information then the title all the right title and interest in any data relating to owner's business operations without limitation all data and information relating to the hotels will remain the exclusive property of the owner whether or not provided to the manager during the term of this agreement 
so all the data will be the exclusive property of the owner then sale of hotels in case there is the sale of any hotel by the owner the agreement will automatically terminate in such case upon the sale of any hotel such hotel will no longer be covered by this agreement and the manager shall no longer perform the services related to such hotel upon the sale of all the hotels whether through a single transaction or through multiple separate transactions this agreement shall automatically terminate as of the date of the sale of the last hotel so there is a list of hotels included in the exhibit a suppose the manager uh, suppose the owner is selling one of the hotels from that list then the manager will not be obligated to perform any of the duty for that particular hotel for which the sale has been done okay then what will be the duties of manager volume ramp up high demand and growth management performance stabilization turning point authority of manager what all will come under the authority of manager pursuant to the terms of this agreement and subject to continuing the exclusivity authority of the owner the owner hereby delegates the manager the authority to perform the services described in clause 8 all the services described in clause 8 will be covered under the authority of the manager then who will have the record and who will who, who all can access the records the manager shall maintain proper records and make such records available for the inspection of the owner and by the council auditors and authorized agents of the owner at any time or from time to time during normal business hours after the due service of the prior written notice other activities there can be multiple other activities what will be the relationship between the manager and the owner the manager and the owner do not intend to form a joint venture partnership or similar relationship instead the parties intend that the manager shall act solely in the capacity of independent contractor or advisor for the owner okay we have already discussed this agreement in the consultancy agreement this provision in the consultancy agreement then managers reps and warranties owners reps and warranties indemnification reporting now reporting here includes that manager will report and provide the report of what all duties he has performed what is the status of the duties what all is the strategy to the owner in a particular interval of time and based on that he will be reviewed and will rectify what all lacunas are there in the performance then recognition if the manager is doing exceptionally well he will be recognized in the following ways he uh, the owner may exceed the revenue targets the owner uh, he will be rewarded in the following ways either the owner will increase the remuneration or the owner may grant such other benefits to the manager as may be desired by the owner then the assignment and miscellaneous so we'll go through this agreement once again in detail on the next class by the time i'll share this agreement with paras and he can share it with you guys so that you can also go through the clause and if there is any difficulty in any of the clause let me know we'll discuss this in detail in the next class okay okay ma'am and in the next class we'll start with the corporate agreements uh or corporate and banking agreements what what you guys want me to start with corporate or banking Corporate, corporate agreements will cover partnership and LLP agreements, and banking agreements will cover loan agreements, pledge agreements, hypothecation, and all these agreements. So you guys decide and let me know. I'll start accordingly. After discussing this in detail, then we'll proceed with either the corporate agreements or the banking agreements. Just let me know before. Banking banking agreement is good for the first if we take it. Okay. So you all decide, and Paris, please let me know what they want me to start with, either the corporate agreements or the banking agreements. Okay, ma'am, we will ask in the group and let you know. 
ओके okay.